So most people probably don't travel nearly as much as I have been recently. And this past weekend has really been no exception. I was in Ireland, Dublin to be more specific. I went to go visit a friend and to do some stuff for school slash work. And overall, it was a really, really good time. Uh, unfortunately, when I left, I had to fly out of Warsaw, not the city that I actually live in. So it involved taking a train for two, three hours, and then a bus for 45 minutes, and then finally getting on the airplane to travel to Dublin. And then from Dublin, taking the taxi to the hotel. Yay! And the next day, I got up and I went and I dealt with the stuff that I had to deal with for school and work. And then from there, I went back to the hotel and it was all kind of boring and stuff. The next day, I actually did tourist stuff. And this is probably the fifth or sixth time that I've been to Dublin. So my urge to get out there and go and see things was not exactly radiating. So I decided that I would go around and I would just go walk around Dublin just to see things that I've probably already seen but would like to see again. So I took the bus into Dublin and I took it into Central Bank, which happens to be right smack dab in front of Trinity College. So guess what I went and saw first? Starbucks. <laughs> I went and got a coffee. Afterwards, I went and I walked a little bit around Trinity College. I did not go in and see the Book of Kells. I've seen it twice already. Uh, if you've never seen it though, uh, the library there itself is totally worth it. Um, the, the Book of Kells library, not the actual library. From there, I walked and I went and saw the playing fields of Trinity College. And I snuck out the back entrance of Trinity College and headed towards... Oh, I don't know what the park is called. I ended up at the park that has a statue of Oscar Wilde. And as it happens, uh, Oscar Wilde's childhood home is right across the street in a kind of whitish building that is now, I believe, the American University. And then, kind of in the corner of the park there, and they've got little statues that have quotes from them and stuff. And it's a nice granite statue. So from there, I was going to try and go, I don't remember what I was going to go and try and see, because I walked up a little way down the street and I ran into the Museum of Natural History. And since I'd read a little bit about it on Google, I decided that I would go inside. And it's all free, which is really great. And I, anyway, I went inside and it is basically a museum full of dead stuff. It is like a vegetarian's worst nightmare. Not that I'm a vegetarian, but yeah. The amount of animals that they have in that place preserved is kind of impressive. They have tons of birds, different sorts of species of mammals and, you know, insects. And it's, I think, four or five stories. Uh, I walked around in there for a while because I'm kind of a biology nerd. And then I decided that I had never actually been inside of any of the cathedrals in Dublin, particularly uh, St. Patrick's and Christ Church Cathedral. And so I decided that I was gonna go and see those. And it was probably about a 10 minute walk from that area to uh, over to uh, Christ Church Cathedral, which was the first one that I ran into. And it was a six euro admissions charge. And I went in and it was interesting, uh, not quite as impressive on the inside as it is on the outside, but you you go in and you can go down to see the crypts and you can just walk all around kind of the cathedral a little bit there and, and they give you like a piece of paper that tells you a little bit about the history and stuff. And yeah, and apparently they film the Tudors there and they have some of the costumes from the television show down in the crypt, just kind of. After I was done at Christ Church, I hurried up and I headed over to St. Patrick's Cathedral, which is the largest cathedral in Ireland, obviously. Uh, it has a huge garden area, which is kind of neat to walk around. And like Christ Church Cathedral, it only costs six euro to go inside and see it. And inside of the cathedral, I actually think, ah, uh, 
St. Patrick's was much better than Christchurch, but that's just a personal opinion. Uh, along the sides, they had a bunch of like little history things, um, interesting things about not only St. Patrick, but also about uh, different uh, people who had been in charge of the church, one of whom wrote Gulliver's Travels, which was really cool, and I didn't know that. Um, it also, the architecture inside it, well, I mean, it was just bigger. So the architecture was just a little bit more interesting, personally. Uh, they had some ancient runes, I guess, from, I guess, what they thought was the well of St. Patrick. And they had a nice little memorial area, kind of, for uh, fallen soldiers. And overall, I think that I liked St. Patrick's Cathedral just a tiny bit better in the inside than I had with Christchurch. Even though I think Christchurch is really an interesting cathedral in a different way because the outside of it, the architecture is really, really neat. And it actually has like a bridge that goes over the road and stuff. After I was done touring all of the cathedrals, came out and I caught the bus back to my hotel where I was staying. And the next day I got up really, really early and I called a cab. Actually, I emailed a cab, and the cab came and picked me up, and I left. And I came back to Poland. First by taking the airplane, then by taking a bus into downtown Warsaw, and then from taking a train from downtown Warsaw back to where I live. It was a really, really long day. And yeah. And now, today. I think I'm gonna go take a nap. Right. See you next week, guys.